package in America. Thoughts on Canada's mosaic culture versus Americans' melting pot culture. Which would uh, either which would either of you prefer? Mm. I have my thoughts. Okay, so here's the thing. I prefer when it comes to uh, depends on what you mean by culture. I think culture has two separate. I divide culture into two separate meanings. Okay. And b- b- based on each definition, I prefer the Canadian or American model. So for people do, who don't understand Canadians, mosaic model versus Americans melting pot, the difference is that when people come into Canada, they don't melt, okay? They keep their culture and they are accepted in the society. You know, they don't have to change their colors and be like others to be accepted, right? right. The Americans melting pot is like you come and you get Americans, are you Americanized, you you uh, blend in and that become you become like others and that's how you get accepted right yeah. so culture culture has in my mind two there's refers to two completely different things so different that they shouldn't be having the same word i don't like the fact that they are both are referred to culture right one of them is rituals and traditions such as you know art uh, music fashion food um stuff like that dances right um you know rituals architecture yeah. that's one culture okay um history right a poetry literature that's one definition of culture the other one is about values you know mm-hmm. ways of life mm-hmm. you know what is um yeah basically ethics morality what is what do you consider right and what do you consider wrong okay uh, norms and how to behave mm-hmm. And that's another thing culture refers to, okay? And when it comes to the first one, I think the more the merrier. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there is no um, ob- objective superiority. Like it's a basically, it's completely, rel- it should be completely relative. Everybody could decide what their taste is. And because we, different people have different tastes, the more of it, the merrier. You don't have to make it all the same thing. In fact, the more diversity, the better in that mm-hmm. culture, okay? So the second one, the other cult, the culture that refers to moral values, you know, values, way of life, there are objectively superior. If by, if by, if you want to maximize well-being in a society, mm-hmm. there are objectively better values, and there are objectively yeah. inferior values, and the inferior values need to be crushed, need to be destroyed in favor of the better ones, mm-hmm. right? So if that's what you mean by culture, there are superior cultures and there are inferior cultures, right? So that's why when it comes to traditions, dance, art, food, um, music, I prefer the mosaic model. Yeah. I don't want them to all just blend in and become the same thing. But when it comes to moral standards and way of life, I like the melting pot model where you all just submit to this superior uh, ethic, ethical model. That's a really that's that's a really good distinction. I'm, I'm glad you said that because when I read this earlier, um, I think I was kind of coming to the same conclusion, but just a little bit of a different pathway where I was like, you know, the good, the good that comes from both of these models and the bad that comes from both of these models, you know, can be easily laid out. The good that comes from the mosaic culture is this idea of everybody getting to, you know, maintain those, you know, wonderful traditions and stuff. Um, but it, it can lead to, um, you know, a, a continued, a continued set of beliefs that, that are harmful, right. That are not maximizing that well being because that particular culture can be insulated, right. Um, in, in those types of communities, whereas in the melting pot, it's like, uh, it's probably a little bit harder for that to happen. Cause you're kind of doing that whole assimilation thing. But then obviously that's where the bad of the melting pot comes in is that we're kind of stripping people of, of that, you know, heritage and stuff. Um, but yeah, I think, I think the way that you separated the, the word culture itself is, is what's important for that, that question and that model. Um, because then, yeah, it comes down to, well, we want to have as many other, you know, different traditions and, and so forth, you know, um, thrive as possible. Uh, but we don't want these, these crap ideas that are going to fester and, and destroy everything else. So, yes, um, yes. We don't want like. If you come if you if you come to this country and you want to bring and you want to make saris a trend in this country, that's fantastic. We you know more color, more diversity. If you want to bring a new dance and new arts, that's that enriches the culture. Okay, 
uh, and bring it all in and do not like blend in. Like we in right. fact, enrich our culture with all right. these new things that you're bringing here. Thank you so much. Bring them in. We love them. Okay. But if you want to, I don't know, um, do circumcise mm. little girls, then mm. no, right. no, no. Like if you want to bring right. in homophobia, then no. Right. If you want to bring in transphobia, then no. If you want right. to bring in misogyny, then no. Right. right. So, yeah. yeah, if if that's your culture, assimilate the hell out of it. Uh, yes. If your culture, on the other hand, is check out this awesome food that we have that's specifically to to us. Thank you. you know, my great 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 grandmother. It's like hell yeah, bring that, yeah, bring, it, bring in. it in, bring it in. Yes, bring look look in. at all these awesome <laughs> stories and and these fantastic. You know, yeah, totally, totally a win, yeah. man. Yeah, get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.